thank God for him. Amen. 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 I thank God for him being the head of our lives. Amen. I thank him for loving me. Amen. Amen. I'm thanking him for loving me when I didn't have enough sense to love him. Thank you. Amen. 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 And, and because he loved me, I'm in this place where I can love him. Amen. 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 Because of the love that he extended to me, when I couldn't reach him, he reached me. Amen. 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 When I didn't have enough sense to seek him, he was seeking me. All right. Amen. Amen. When, when I wasn't looking for him, he found me. He found Amen. Amen. And, and he kept me. Amen. Amen. And he brought me to this place. Amen. Wherever Amen. I am right now, whatever you think about what I am right now, I'm only that. Because he brought me yes. here. Praise Amen. God. And if I make it from this place, it'll be because he keeps me. Amen. Amen. And, and I keep on thanking him over and over again. Amen. Because I never shall forget what he's done for me. Amen. 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 I'd like to thank him for saving me. Amen. Did get a lot of amens right there. Amen. I'd like to thank him for saving me. Amen. 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 Nothing, nothing else matters. Amen. Nothing else is more important than the fact that he looked at my nasty soul. Amen. Amen. And he Amen. fixed my nasty soul. Amen. Amen. And he took all of my sin and gave me all of his righteousness. Yes. Gave me access to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And because of that love, I will live forever with Amen. him. Amen. 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 And because of that love, his glory is shining in my life right Amen. now. Amen. You might not like it. You might not think it so much. But he likes it. He Amen. loves it. He chose it. Amen. And I am so grateful. Amen. 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 But uh, we thank God this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. 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 And we, great, we gratefully appreciate all of the ministry gifts that are manifested here on today. For those that are serving abroad, those that are out of state, amen. Today uh, we're going to be serving over at the Strong Tower Church later today. Amen. Those of you that are in town, you should come over and join us over on uh, Graham Road and uh Fellowship with Pastor Todd and the Strong Tower Church. Amen. If you've never been a part of our fellowship there, that's our predominantly Hispanic population. Amen. And uh, we'll be ministering there, so pray for me. Amen. I'm going to take my five words that I know in Spanish, and I'm going to do what I can do. Amen. But God will be glorified, and I hope to see you there. Amen. We thank God for, for all that he has been doing in the kingdom and for how he's advancing the kingdom agenda. Amen. Amen. How he's advancing the kingdom agenda. It may not be your agenda, but he has an agenda for the kingdom of God. Amen. And there's nothing that's happening in this time, in this season, in this day that surprises him. Amen. Amen. I mean, it's, there's nothing that's going on right now that, that he didn't see coming. Amen. Amen. And because he saw it coming, he had a plan. Amen. And you are a part of his plan. Amen. And if you are in the kingdom of God right now, you are a part of his plan. Amen. If there's going to be change in this season, you are the agent of change that God has chosen. Amen. That's why he put you in the earth in this season. Amen. That's why he put you in the church at this time. Amen. So make yourself available to God. Let God use you in whatever way that he would choose to use you. Don't hold back. Don't quench the spirit. Amen. Don't say no. Amen. Thank you for those two amens. That was very nice. Amen. Don't say no, but say yes to whatever it is that God is doing in this season. Amen. 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 All right, let's get into the word of God uh, in the book of 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Amen. The 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Amen. 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 2 Corinthians chapter 12. When I mean, you got to say amen. 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 You know, you don't have it yet, say wait a minute. <laughs> All right. All right. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. I am on time limit. So. <laughs> you do have to find it soon. Amen. amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Yes. All right. Uh, Sister Davis, you ready? Yes. Read it. I'll start that one. Yes. It is not expedient.
expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. Uh-huh. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. Yes. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell, or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. Such a one caught up to the third heaven. Mm -hmm. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which, is, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Of such an one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in mine affirmity. So he knew this guy who had experienced great things in the Lord, the he being Paul, he knew this guy who had, had done all these outstanding things in the Lord. Some of you know who he's talking about. Amen. Anybody know who he's talking about? Good. That's the trivia question. That's not the guy he's talking about. Amen. But he's talking about another guy. But that's the trivia question for later on. You'll win the prize. Amen. If you can think about who it is that he's talking about. But he knew this guy 14 years ago who was caught up into the third heavens and saw all these things and uttered words that was not even permissible to be uttered. He had this great experience in the Lord. And if I was going to brag about something, I would brag about this guy. Okay. Okay. If I was going to brag about something, I would talk about what this guy experienced. That's what he said. I know this in King James, so I got to yes, interpret tongue, the tongue. Yes, tongue, tongue. Amen. If I was going, <laughs> if I was going to brag, if it was something to talk about, I'd talk about somebody who had experienced all of these things in the Lord. Amen. Yes. And he said, but when it comes to me. I'm not going to brag on myself. That's the fifth verse. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm not going to brag on myself, but I'm going to brag on my infirmities. I'm not going to brag about what I have done. I'm going to brag on my infirmities. Mm -hmm. When I talk about him, I'm going to talk about how he was in the third heaven. When I talk about me, I'm going to talk about my weaknesses. I'm going to talk about my flaws. I'm going to talk about my sicknesses. I'm going to talk about everything that's wrong with me. His infirmities. Amen. Go ahead on, Sister David. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. So I, I would like, I would like to brag on myself, but I ain't crazy. I, 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 the reason why I'm talking about my weaknesses is because I'm not crazy. I would tell you how great I am, but I ain't so crazy to tell you that I'm great. That's Paul. Amen. Who's great. That's right. Who wrote uh, most of the New Testament. Amen. And he said, but I, I got enough sense to recognize yeah. that I should not brag on how good I am because I can't brag on how good I am. I'm going to brag on what's wrong with me. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Read. For I will say the truth. I will tell you the truth. Uh huh. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he see, seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. Uh huh. And at least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations. There was given to me a thorn in, in the flesh. So before I get caught up, before I get so excited, about myself and 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 what I thought was interesting uh, is that he said that this other brother had a great revelation but he said before I get caught up in my revelations and before I can get caught up in the abundance of the revelations that God has given unto me I recognize that I need to not get all caught up in that and I need to focus on something else what did he say yeah. He said, what happened is God helped me. He said, God helped me. He said, God helped me. This record is not stretched. He said, God helped me. There's not a problem with the video. He said, God helped me. He said, uh, lest I be exalted above measure through the abundance of revelations, God helped me. Right. He said, there was given to me a thorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, 
the thorn didn't get me, That's right. but it was given to me. Yeah, amen. And the thorn was what? What did it say? Right after that. In the flesh. Read it. Oh. Um, there was given to me a thorn in, in the flesh. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh. And the thorn in the flesh was what? What did it say next? The messenger of Satan to the buffet. The messenger of Satan mm -hmm. that was sent to buffet me, mm -hmm. to whoop me. Why? Lest, Lest I should be exalted above measure. God recognizing that I was so blessed. God recognizing that I had the abundance of revelation. Mm -hmm. God recognizing that I knew so much. God recognizing that he was using me so mightily. Sent me some help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he sent help through the messenger, the messenger of Satan. What are you saying, Apostle? I'm saying that some of the haters that's in your life, come on, sir, and some of the hindering spirits that's in your life, and some of the people that's picking on you in your life, and some of the people that were irritating you in your life, yeah. and some of the people that sent the cult you get you caught up in your life yeah. were sent by God. Yeah, amen. Oh, yeah, all right. To help you. To keep you on the level. Yeah. Amen. To keep you from getting carried away with your own self. Right. Amen. I got something that'll bring you down. Yeah. I got something that'll keep you in check. Right. I got something that'll show you yourself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I got something that'll 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 bring things back in order. Mm -hmm. And I'll use Satan. This not, don't, don't look at me with your religious spirit. No. <laughs> Amen. This, this is not the first time that God used Satan Amen. to bring his plan to pass. Amen. Oh, there was one other time in the garden. Yes. Amen. And, and in the garden, Satan came and tempted Eve. Yes. And when he tempted Eve, he told Eve to eat the fruit. But God knew the fruit was there, but the fruit and Satan was a part of the plan right. of salvation yeah. because he Amen. said by one man sin entered into the world. Right. So the plan is that the same way by one man salvation could come. Oh, right. oh it's not the first time that he used Satan, no. amen, to get you caught up because he also tempted Jesus. Yes, in, uh, it's, it's, yes, not, it's not that Satan doesn't have a point and a place. Satan entered the heart of Judas. So that Judas would betray That's Christ. Right. So right. that the plan would come to pass. Yeah. 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 So don't be disturbed just because God sends a Judas in your life. Amen. 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 Because some of your Judases are necessary. Yeah. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, some of your Judases are sent by God to push you yeah. Yeah. Amen. right to the place that you need to be. Amen. There are some folks that you wouldn't even be where you are if they hadn't talked about you the way they did. <laughs> they made you study. Yes, they made you pray. Yeah. They made you prove that God was who he said he was yeah. in your life. Yeah. They made you fast. Yeah. They made you get on the altar yeah. because you didn't want them to be right. Yes, Thank God for the Judases. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Right. Thank God for the messengers Amen. that came to kick you Amen. right where you are today. Amen. 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 I, I know y'all don't want to say amen because you don't want to admit it. But there's some folks that you just determined not to let them be right. Amen. 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 And they and they said you couldn't be it, so you said if I don't do it for no other reason, I'm gonna prove this person wrong. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. There's some folks that said you wouldn't make it, and they, and you holding on just to prove yes, them sir. wrong. Yes, Amen. There's some folks that this little salvation thing that's gonna pass in a minute. No, Amen. Right. And you want to give up, but you can't let go because no, you can't not. face them. That's right. All right. <laughs> God said, I know how to use. I know how to use your enemies. Amen. To keep you in line. Amen. Amen. You, Amen. Ought, Amen. you ought to bless them. Amen. Amen. I wonder if I, I wonder if that's why you say love your enemies. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
You ought to appreciate them. Send them an appreciate. Find them all in your Judas's and send them an appreciation gift. Go get them a card and mail it to them and say, I just want to appreciate you for keeping me on track. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Because had I been for you being on my side, <laughs> where would I be right now? Amen. Don't you give up. Right. Keep on talking about me. On. Keep on lying on me. On. Keep on spreading the gossip. Yeah. Keep on saying, oh, I'm sorry. Come on. Yeah. Y'all got me working. <laughs> you can <laughs> 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 He sent this. He sent this messenger of Satan to buffet me, mm -hmm. lest I should be exalted above measure. What happened, Sister Davis? For this thing I besought the Lord uh -huh. thri thrice, uh -huh. that it might depart from me. <laughs> I asked the Lord three times mm -hmm. to get this thing out of my life. <clears throat> Wonder if there's anybody in here yes, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Yes. that you've been praying for the Lord. Oh, you've been asking the Lord, help me, Lord, get this thing out of my life, turn it around, take it away, move, three times, three times, three, three times Paul asked, Paul, who got it together? Paul the Apostle, mm -hmm. Paul the Most Powerful, yes. Paul the Writer, Amen. Paul the Revelator, mm -hmm. Paul who met Jesus in person, yes. three times, three times. Mm -hmm. even asked him, get this out of me, God. <laughs> Isn't anybody here yeah. that you've been asking, <laughs> God, <laughs> get this thing out of me. Don't tell me what it is. Don't tell me what it is. I ain't looking. <laughs> but you want the Lord to get this thing. You want the Lord to fix you. Mm -hmm. And what if, what if just for your consideration, what if God put it there? <laughs> what, if, what if it was actually his idea just to keep you on level? Would you agree with me that Paul was pretty good with God? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you agree with me that he had a pretty good relationship with God? Yeah. Yeah. Would you agree with me the same that his writings shape the New Testament church? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and this is the same Paul that we're talking to now that said the devil <laughs> is whooping me. And I have asked God to stop the devil from whooping me three times. Mm -hmm. And God didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And it changed Paul's prayer life. And I'm sharing it today because I want it to change your prayer life. We have, we have been um, focused as a church, as the body of Christ, on being sin conscious. We have been focused on what's wrong with us. So when we examine ourselves, the only thing we measure is what's wrong with us. And once we identify what's wrong with us, we take that to God and ask God to fix it. We say, what, what are my sins? What are my flaws? What are my problems? And I take my problems to God and I say, God, I need you to help me with all of my problems. I need you to fix me so I'll stop sinning. I need you to work something out so you get this stuff out of my life and then I'll be great. Because I'm trying to be good for you, God. But I got this. 
Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that is absolutely not God's way for you to look at yourself. Amen. God is not looking at you half empty. All right. All right. Amen. God doesn't see you half empty. That's right. God doesn't look at what's missing in your life. Right. For those that think that they're real deep, God doesn't look at you as half full either. All right. mm -hmm. He doesn't see you half anything. That's right. That's right. When he looks at you, he sees you complete. Amen. Amen. He sees you whole. That's true. He sees you entire. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So what, what's wrong with us that we don't see ourselves whole and complete and entire? It's because we're looking at what's missing as a flaw. Amen. We're looking at what's missing. We're looking at the voids in our life. We're looking at the weaknesses in our life. We're looking at our infirmities as a problem and not the testimony. Paul said, when I get ready to look at myself, I don't say, look at how good I am. All right. He said, when I really get ready to look at myself and I get ready to brag on myself, I say, look at what's wrong with me. And that's what he brags on. My God. It's what's wrong with me. All right. I got to take my time because I don't want y'all to miss this. Right. His testimony is not they want to be a saint, sanctified by time, filled with the Holy Ghost, do that mighty burning fire. Amen. And the Holy Ghost saved and the bones is saved too. <laughs> he doesn't say that. <laughs> he don't say, look at how holy I am. Right. Look at how many scriptures I know. Look at how good of a preacher I am. Look at how many churches I've established. Look at all of the stuff that I got right. Yeah. right. He, when he gets ready to brag, he said, look at what's wrong with me. When we get ready to brag, we try to validate ourselves by saying, well, I have done something good. There is some good in me. And we try to pull what's good in us so that we can validate ourselves. But so I, I do have five members. You see what I'm saying? I did pray one time. I do know three scriptures. See? <laughs> I'm good. Paul says, everything that I know, everything that I've accomplished, everything that I've ever done right, I count all of that as mess. That you can throw all of that away. Sit down. You can throw all of that away because none of that is more important than what I've got right. I mean, what I've got wrong. Can you see how we live in contrast with what's going on in Paul's life? Paul says, boy, you should see what's wrong with me. And we say, don't look at what's wrong with me. Paul says, man, if you, if you ever want to let me tell you about my struggle. Let me tell you about where Satan is in my life. And we say, I don't want nobody to know that I still struggle with these things. See where we have a struggle? I wonder what that causes. If Sister Davis would read the scripture, then we would know what that causes. Man, Sister Davis. <laughs> And Read the scripture. I'm at nine. Uh, and he nine. said unto me, uh -huh. my grace is Whoa, sufficient for hallelujah. Me. Thank you. Wait a minute. I'm going to shout. <laughs> Whoa, <man. laughs> I asked him to take this thing out of me three times. Uh -huh. Woo. I said, God, if you were just getting rid of this one thing that Satan is doing in my life, I would be all right. Amen. And when he prayed, and when he asked for God for help, yeah. God replied in red letters. Yeah. And when he replied in red letters, he said, what? My grace is sufficient my for me. My grace is sufficient for uh -huh. For my strength is made Cause perfect. Because what? Because of the what? My strength is made what? perfect. Because the what? My strength uh -huh. is made perfect in your weakness. Because my strength All right, now. is made perfect in your weakness. Yeah. Uh -huh. Paul figured something out. Right. <laughs> I am trying to hold it together and not internally combust. Yeah. All right. 
I need you to remember yeah. that I'm the God that supplies your needs. All right. Even your need in this area. And so, and so where you might imagine that there is an empty place, a broken place, a void. And let me let me teach for a second. I don't want to get beside myself, but 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 that voice is not the voice of God. Thank you. Thank you for your silence. That means you're listening. I appreciate it. Amen. That voice is not the voice of God that's telling you that something is wrong with you. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. God, God does not come to your life just so he can point out the fact that something's wrong with you. He does not, he does not come to your life to be a critic. He, did, he never had an intention of scrutinizing your life. This is what he said. I, 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 hear, your, I hear your spirit. Amen. This is what he said. When you got it right, you a filthy rag. So don't get all such and much because you think you got four things right. I'm not here to see how right you are because I know you're wrong. The thing you think you got right is wrong. If a man say he don't have no sin, he lied. I know all, all, of, that, all of that was you finally figured out how to stop doing one thing mm -hmm. out of the 635 commandments that you don't even know. Right. Now right. you finally got three of them right yep. and you holy. All right. All right. All right. In your own strength. Right. I know how to help you. Right. I will send Satan yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. to remind you that you ain't such My God. and much. Yeah. <laughs> Since you finally think that you are the thing. And, 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 and he will find that place. Yes, yes, yes. Ephesians say, uh, therefore, be strong in the Lord. Uh -huh. And in the power of his might. Do what? Put on the whole armor of God. Why? That you may be able to stand against all the wives. Put on the helmet. Put on the... The breastplate, uh -huh. gird your loins, get the shield. Uh -huh. Oh, I get the shield. Hmm. Get the shield of what? Faith. Ah, uh, get the shield of what? Get the shield of faith. Why? What do I need the shield for? To quench. To quench. To quench what? All the fiery darts. All the fiery darts of who? The enemy. All the enemy is shooting fiery darts. How many? Oh. He's shooting a lot. He's shooting a lot of darts. Why? Why he shooting so much? Because he's been sent. He, he's been sent. <laughs> and the way that you withstand My God. the onslaught of the enemy's fiery darts yeah, huh? is to have the shield of faith. Right. Yeah. Not your own strength. Amen. He didn't say be strong in the Lord and whoop the devil. He, he said, be strong in the Lord and hide behind the shield. Amen. Oh, you want to you wanna see the Lord do something? Get behind the shield. Yeah. 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 Amen. Don't be dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Don't throw your shield down and run out there yeah. and let the devil shoot you. Right. Because yeah. he's shooting. That's right. He is. He is. Right. Always. <laughs> A lot. A lot, yeah. A lot. If you find yourself getting hit by the devil too much, you probably not behind the shield. Duck. Our prayers are all twisted. Jeremiah, because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get strong enough that we can handle the devil without the shield. We're trying to, we're trying to handle the devil without faith. We're trying to handle the devil without the Lord. And the Lord has sent him to show us that we need him. And, and the dart is letting you know where you need him 
the most. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Tell it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're behind the shield, look, what the enemy does is he keeps shooting. Yeah, yeah he does. He keeps shooting. All right. And then there's a place that's not covered mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. And he hits you in that place. Mm -hmm. And when he hits you in that place, you say, ouch. Yeah, all right. Ow! You hit me in my pinky toe. <laughs> and when he realizes that that's the area that's exposed in your life, then he concentrates his yeah, fire that's a real yes. directly at your pinky toe. Yes, he does. Everywhere you go. Somebody is stepping on your yeah. pinky toe. Yeah. Everything you do, they find a way. I'm just trying to be peaceful. I ain't going to bother nobody. Just don't nobody bother me. Baby, wait. You ought to know. Somebody going to meet you at the door to offend you. Somebody going to say something out the way. Somebody going to do something. Because that's what's exposed in your life. Yeah. 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 Amen. Right, right. That's so true. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get y'all off the hook. Because you frustrated because you're trying to wrestle mm -hmm. something that you were never designed to wrestle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, that's the truth. Amen. 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 You tried to beat something that you were never designed to beat. know we need God to help us. We know that we got problems. Mm -hmm. We admit that we got flaws. Amen. But we can't figure out why it is that Paul brags about his flaw. That he brags about his weakness. Mm -hmm. We found out here that God said, my grace mm -hmm. is sufficient for thee because mm -hmm. My strength is made perfect in weakness. What does it say after that, Sister Davis? Most gladly, therefore, I will, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Oh! Oh, I found it! Read it again. They weren't ready that time. Most gladly, therefore, I will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Oh! They still didn't get it. My, most gladly, uh -huh. therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I take they, pleasure. They still ain't getting it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't getting it. I know, I know, because if you get it, you a hollow. <laughs> Read it one more time. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities. I would rather. Most most gladly, is that what you say? Most gladly. I, 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 most gladly, mm -hmm. I say, old child. <laughs> I would rather yeah. mm -hmm. to glory, yeah. celebrate mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. my infirmity. Uh -huh. now, this, I would rather celebrate, glorify my infirmities. Why? That the power of Christ may rest upon me. Because the power of Christ rest upon me in the places where I'm weak. That's exactly how I get him there. Is I recognize and I acknowledge him in a way that says, I can't do this without you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And and then he says, I like it when you talk to me like that. <laughs> Y'all got babies, babies yeah. and grandbabies and, and yeah. nephews and nieces. 
And, and, and it's, a, a, it's, it's something that I love, my little nephew, my little nephew, you know, I see my nephew, and this does it for me. Mm -hmm. This does it for me every time when I do this. I don't come pick them up. I don't come snatch them. I do this. And it's something about when he leans over and say, yeah, um, take me. I want to go with um. I, I, if, if I did like this and he drew back, it feels sometimes like what? But when I do like this and he say, yeah, I've been waiting on you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he wants me because he recognizes that I'm what he needs. You understand yes, what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So, so it, it's something about for God, yes. not when you show God how good you are by yourself. Right. Yes. Come on now. All right. Come on. Now. But it's the places in your relationship yes. with God that you lean in. Uh -huh. That you say, God, I need you to hold me. Yes. Right. That I need you to keep me. Yes. I can't make it without you. Yes. Now, he's always got his hands yes. out. Oh, yeah. But in, the, in these areas over here, he's got his hands out and you're like, no, I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. But in this area, he's yes. got his hand out and you say, I can't make it without yes. you. Yes. 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 My yes. God. Yes. I'd rather glory in the place where I need him. Mm -hmm. Because where I need him, he shows up. Yes, amen. So the power of Christ may rest upon me. Yes. What Paul said is, y'all are tripping off of all the things that I got right. Mm -hmm. But that's not the thing that gives me joy. Yes. That's not the thing that thrills my soul. Yes. What thrills my soul is that I know in this area, if it wasn't for God, I couldn't make it. Yes. I know that in this area, I never would have got here yes. if it wasn't for him. Yes. Amen. And he yes. keeps showing up in that place in my yes. life. Yes. He, his power is resting on me here. Yes. I'm yes. not that smart. I don't know that many scriptures. Yes. I'm not that strong. But he chose me. Yes. And he uses me. And he makes a way. And he opens up doors. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I'm gonna brag. Uh, you gotta see not what God is doing over here, but you gotta see Him in my low place. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta see Him in my brokenness. Yeah. You gotta see Him in my weakness. Oh, yeah. You gotta see Him in my infirmity. Yeah. That's where He shows out. Yeah. Over here, you see Him and you say Peter Pat, but over there, I say I can't live without you. Yes, yes, sir. yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Therefore. Yes, sir. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, for when I am weak, then am I strong. Then am I strong. Amen. Therefore, I'm not discouraged. Amen. I'm not discouraged by my flaws. There's a lot of people right now. And, 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 and the reason why you're not walking with Christ mm -hmm. is not because God is not good. It's because you're not. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not because he's not faithful. It's just because you're not. Mm -hmm. It's because you recognize and you know that there's areas in your life where you got issues. Mm -hmm. and, and you're saying to God, God, I don't even want to be fake like that. God, I, I don't want to be a hypocrite. Amen. God, I, I want to be all in or all out. Amen. And Paul says, I know how you feel. Amen. I felt the same way. But what I found out is that there's no such thing mm -hmm. as being all in without him. All right. All right. Yeah. See, there's none perfect. Yes. Amen. None perfect save Christ. That's right. Amen. That's right. There's only one man That's right. mm -hmm. that lived free from sin mm -hmm. and overcame sin in the flesh. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And he did that because yeah. we couldn't. That's right. Yeah. That's right. He did that because we had so much us in us mm -hmm. that even when we get our us together, we still ain't nothing but filthy rags. That's right. That's right. That's what it says. This was always yeah. known by God. You mad at God because you feel like God is uh, scrutinizing you and criticizing you, and God is like, I'm not even on that. Mm -hmm. 
That's you. Right. I'm here for that. Amen. What if you accepted that Christ came not for the, the well, but for the sick? That's right. Yeah. 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 Not for the righteous, but to bring sinners to. That's right. Mm -hmm. So in order to do that, he recognized that he had to make up the shortfall in your life. He, first of all, he recognized that there was a shortfall in your life. Uh -huh. yeah. Secondly, he realized that if he was ever going to get it together, he had to make up the difference. That's right. And he called that difference grace. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He, called, he called the shortfall in your life grace. See, if he called it shortfall, then because of how just he is, you have to go to hell. My God. If there was ever a place where there was shortfall that was not fixed, if it was just shortfall, then you would never be enough. You would never qualify for heaven, so you might as well give up now. Wow. But what he recognized is that your, your not enough would always be not enough. Mm -hmm. So he infused your life with grace. Mm -hmm. Grace is the place where he is in your life. Grace is the place where he lives in your life. Grace is the place where he has victory in your life. Thank you, Lord. It's not the thing that you should apologize for. It's the thing that you should celebrate. Amen. I say it's not the thing that you yeah. should apologize for. It's the thing that you should celebrate. Amen. Because everybody needs his grace at some place. Yeah. And so you should be grateful that he's willing yeah. and able and has a employed grace in your life Amen. to make up whatever is not enough. He's that. Amen. He is what makes you whole. Amen. He is what makes you new. He is what makes you complete. Yes. He is what makes you righteous. He is what makes you whole. Yes, he is. Yeah. Not just what you figured out. Mm -hmm. Not just what you had the strength to handle. Yes, Lord. But he's everything else. Amen. If you could learn to appreciate the grace and to recognize that you wouldn't even know the grace if it wasn't for your flaws. Amen. Then you could know that in your weak areas you should be shouting on that. Amen. I know this ain't going to fit with everybody's religion. I didn't ask it to. Amen. But when you get it right, you'll be shouting on the weakness. Because when you recognize a new flaw in your life, mm -hmm. first of all, you'll know that it wasn't new. Amen. All right. It's been there the whole time. Amen. It's just new to you. Right. You just recognize it's something that God already knew. Yeah. And he has always been in that place. Uh -huh. Amen. He, he has been the crutch in that. He's yeah. been the keeper in that. He's yeah. been the sustainer in that place. He never let that be an issue in your life. But he was holding it together when you didn't even know you needed to be held together. He was making a way when you didn't even know you needed him to make it. He was keeping your mind right when you didn't even know you should be losing your mind. He was holding you in perfect peace when you didn't even recognize the storm that was going on around you. He has always been more than enough. He's always been exceedingly and abundantly above and beyond all you can ask or even think of. Yes, he has. Why can't you just appreciate him for being your all in all? And stop trying to be all in all by yourself. Whatever you are, Whatever you accomplished, yeah. whatever you got right, yeah. whatever you am, mm -hmm. you're that by the grace of God. Yeah. 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 See, we heard that, but we missed it. Yeah. Yeah. The things that I got right, I got that right mm -hmm. by the grace of God. Yeah. The thing that's wrong with me, I'm that yeah. by the grace of God. Yeah. Yeah. He could have killed me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God. I was bad That's enough true. to die a long time ago. Yeah. 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 But I'm living yeah. by the grace of God. Yeah. I'm preaching yeah. by the grace of God. Yeah. If I make it any further, it'll just be by the grace of God. Yeah. So I challenge you to accept the fact that God's grace is sufficient. Yes, sir. It's sufficient. It's so sufficient that where you find weakness, you can already declare 
that you're strong. And you're made strong by his grace. You're made strong because he made you enough. You're made strong because he fills in every place of infirmity in your life. In fact, you're living by his hand. So just trust him. Allow his grace to be enough. Amen. Stop worrying about what's wrong and praise him for the grace that keeps you in that weak place. I'm so glad he's there. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad he's there. Yeah. Amen. I got to say this and I'm going to close. Yes. He said we got it together so good that, that the sick can say they're healed. Amen. Amen. He, said, Amen. he said he got it so good that the poor can say that they're rich. Amen. And he's got, it, he's got it even included in what we're saying now that the weak can say Amen. that they're strong. Right. How is it that poor can be rich? <sighs> How is it that sick can be healed? How is it that the weak can be their strong? Why would God tell us to lie? It's not a lie. No, it's not. It's the fact that he's already made you strong in the places of your weakness. He's already made you well in the places of your sickness. He's already provided in the places where you feel poor. You just got to declare it. That it's already done. All right. My prayer for you is that you can believe that and receive that. That you can hide behind the shield of faith that God has presented over your life and trust him for his grace. In Jesus' name. Jesus Come on, name. give God a hand. Amen. 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 Amen.